Hello everyone, we will continue the topic debugging and in this video we will cover whenever you have a pop-up, how you can go to debugging mode whenever you have the pop-up window. And from the project perspective, and yes, we have so many transaction codes in which we, in, in which we are getting so many pop-up screens in between. And if we want to analyze the code behind those pop-up, whenever we are performing the action onto the pop-up and we want to go to the debugging mode at that point of time, how can we can go to debugging mode? Suppose I will take the example of MM01 transaction code and you will understand fully. With the help of this transaction code, we can create a material. I will pass some industry sector. Suppose I'm taking pharmaceuticals and I'm taking some material type, suppose raw materials. I'm pressing enter. Have you seen? This is a pop-up window. This is a pop-up window. I'm choosing basic data one and I'm clicking on to this continue button. Whenever I will click on to the continue button, I want to check the value of system variable psi u gone. Suppose I, whenever I'm clicking on to the continue button, I want to analyze the code, I want to debug the code, or suppose I want to check the value of system variable psi u com on to this continue button. Simple, we want to go to debugging mode whenever I'm clicking on to this continue button. Now this is your pop-up window, pop-up window. So what we will do at that point of time? Suppose similar. As of now, we don't know how to debug pop-up. So what we will do at this point of time? We will go to MM01. We will go for industry sector, material type, and we will put slash H. We all know slash H is a transaction code to own the debug. So debugging switched on. I pressed end. Now, as of now, pop-up has not appeared yet. So I will simply, simply come out from that debugging using F8 key. Now the pop-up has appeared. I will choose basic data one. And now I will click on to this continue button. Whenever I will click on to the continue button, I want to go to debugging mode. Yes. So in that case, now you cannot put slash H here because now the pop-up appeared and the previous window is disabled. Yes. You cannot put slash H here now. Now, whenever I will click on to this continue button, I want to go to the debugging mode. If I will continue, I am not in debugging mode as of now. So how, how you can go to debugging mode whenever you have the pop-up windows. So what we will do in that case. SAP provided a code of three lines. We just need to copy that code. Suppose if I will open this notepad document, SAP provided this code function in the bracket command is equal to slash H type is equal to system command. We just need to copy this three lines and we need to create a notepad document. You can give any name to this notepad document, whatever you want to give. There's no restriction on the name. Yes. And anyways, I will paste or I will provide these three lines in the description of this video also. Or you can check on Google. You will simply, simply find these three lines of code. Just copy this code 
and create a notepad document. Compulsory, you can create a notepad document. You have to create a notepad document. Now, what I will do after that? Suppose now I will go to MM01 transaction. Now choose industry sector, material type, and press enter. Now I will go for basic data one. Now before clicking on to continue button, I want to own that debugging. I want to own that debugging switch. So how I will own? So this is a notepad document. I will simply, simply drag this notepad document and drop on the pop-up. This is the pop-up. I will simply, simply drop. Have you seen? I'm getting a message debugging switched on and I'm pressing enter. Now I enter into debugging mode. Whatever I want to analyze, whatever I want to check, I can check now. Previously, I have, there's no option to go to the debugging mode. Yes, I have not entered into debugging mode after clicking onto the continue button. Now I simply drag and drop that notepad and yes, debugging switched on for that particular pop-up. And yes, now I'm into the debugging mode. Now, suppose I want to check the value of Psi Ucom. Whenever I clicked onto that continue button, what is the value of system variable user command? It is ENTR. Whatever you want to analyze, now you can analyze and I will simply, simply come out now through F8 key. Important topic and widely used in the projects. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we covered how you can debug the pop-up. Whenever you have the pop-up and you want to go to the debugging mode at that point of time, what you can do at that point of time, just make a notepad document of this particular code. And whenever you have the pop-up or before that particular action, just drag and drop this notepad document. Your debugging switch will be on and you are entering into the debugging mode. And yes, this video is extremely important because in the so we have so many transaction ports of SAP in between those pop-ups are coming. So that's it in this particular video. And yes, I will paste this particular code into the description of the video. You can take it from there also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.